Yves Saint Laurent, has presented his final collection of Ready to Wear the 1999 Autumn, and Alba Elbers has taken over as artistic director for the next show. This meant that Saint Laurent could henceforth concentrate exclusively on haute couture. The spring-summer 1999 collection opened with the iconic broad-shouldered trouser suits paired with muslin blouses and floppy neckties. The scarves in the same fabric, worn as belt and partly draped over the hip, were a nod to his 1978 Broadway suit. When the model took off her jacket, the transparent blouse revealed her bare breasts. The Broadway suit collection was inspired by George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, the first American opera and source of the well-known song Summertime, which led to numerous jazz covers. The opera recounts the hardship that the black community in the American South experienced during the 1930s, notably the economic crisis and drug addiction. Yves Saint Laurent also paid tribute to the elegant women of Harlem, dressed in their Sunday best. Maunia, YSL's Porgy and Bess Mannequin, got ovations every time she sauntered out on the runway in another version of the Spencer jacket. When she finally strolled out in long black satin gloves, bowler hat with tulle veil and diamante stars, and a knee-length, black embroidered chiffon dance dress, it was like an opening night. YSL wants the woman to decide if she's going to wear her Spencer over a long or short black tuxedo skirt, tuxedo pants, or a long crepe satin or mousseline flounced skirt. Andre Leon Talley told in January 26, 1978. The evening wear was glamorous and close-fitting, with draped sheath dress, bare shouldered and often asymmetrical, and cutouts that revealed parts of the body. The journalist Pierre Yves Guillen enthused, and the look number 29 appeared, sublimating everything Yves Saint Laurent stands for, in a bias cut, black silk dress, tied at the waist. It's nothing, and it's everything. the most widely photographed and published design, was without doubt the bridal dress. It was Leticia Castor, in her appearance at the show, who modeled the cheeky bikini made up of roses and foliage, that fluttered to the sound of My Heart Belongs to Daddy Sung by Marilyn Monroe. In an interview, the young model spoke of her complicity with the couturier and said, that during the preparations for this collection, he had asked her what she want to wear and she had replied flowers. The deed was done, and gave rise to one of the most charming moments in the history of Saint Laurent's catwalk shows. <laughs>